Damn. Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for coming. And today is an awesome day. We are making sick hybrid trap drops, just like drink your water. And we are going to get down. Let's go ahead and check out what I got. And remember, if you want this whole project, it will be on my Patreon as well. nice Ooh. okay you know so that's how we're getting down right now basically we have a sustain we have a fast bass going on and we have a nice little web that i'm going to show you guys so let's get into it right away we'll get into the drop first and then we'll go over all the drums later but this is actually pretty cool so first we have the sustain which is doing a little pitch bend up here in that section we're using serum we'll go over this patch here basic sine waves we're using for this sound and uh, the way you make it glide is down here turn on always portamento our times at 432 milliseconds also turned on mono for this sound as well first sine wave plus four and then plus 12 semitones if we look at the actual clip we're playing a f zero and then next sine wave regular but this one's turned all the way down we're using fm from b on oscillator a it's turned up to 37 percent and that's bringing in this lower sine wave the level on this is at negative 15 decibels or 42 percent okay and then next we have a filter mg low 18 the cutoff is at 1226 resonance all the way down and then the lfo1 right here we're doing a slight ramp up uh, the rate is at one eighth. Envelope is on. This is going to be basically like that sound is going to be you pass through an all pass filter. Cutoff is at 135 hertz. Resonance is at 26%. Drive is at 38%. That's the only effects that we have on Serum. So, basic uh, sine wave going on here. Two of them, actually. And then we have a lot of post processing. We can go ahead and do this one by one to see how we actually got this sound. So without post-processing, it sounds this. Which are these sine waves. First thing, add a distortion rack. This one has an amp on heavy, mono, 100% dry and wet. We then add an OTT, but we take down all the expansion. And then this is at 100%. We have an EQ8 cutting, I mean, dipping at 147 hertz, another dip at 2.61 thousand hertz. And then we have the Convolver gun, which is just a hybrid reverb on these settings, made for drums, large gated snare, 635 milliseconds of decay, and then dry and wets at 58% with bass mono on. OTT, regular OTT, 1000% time, 100% dry and wet. Next, we add a fat saturator. We call this the McLouder 14.9 decibels. We pump that soft clip on. OTT, same one as earlier, regular compression. And then 100% dry and wet. We have another EQA doing a shelf, low shelf, 77.4 hertz. We got a dip at 147. And then we have another dip at 2000. We have a slight shelf at 5.5 thousand. If we add the distortion. Ooh. We got some game. Headphone warning. We are just throwing up the throwing up the sound right here. Okay, very good. So as you see, adds a lot. That's what we need. But then we want to find the right tone. So then you can start messing with your tones. Use shifters, just basically Ableton's, and you can change it between pitch, frequency, and ring mod, which is awesome. Now this one is at fine 500 hertz, and then the course is at negative 1,000. Let's check out that. New sound. We're bringing an OTT to make it louder. Then I'm like, okay, that's way too loud, way too much. Let's go ahead and take out some frequencies. 
Containment. Now we go ahead and add another OTT because that is not loud enough again. Now it's getting louder. That's sounding cool. So let's add a new shifter. Start pitching it down a little bit. Negative 4,000 hertz on the fine in frequency mode. Boom. Now we get another shifter. We put this in frequency mode. Go down negative 84 hertz. Give it a lower tone. Too many frequencies. So let's start carving some out. Big low cut. Big dip at 700. Large low shelf at 3.83. We're really carving it out, fitting it in with the mix basically at this point. So that's always nice. Then we go ahead and add some parallel processing, but basically the way we're doing this is we're adding a mono signal. Just to make sure that we have a nice mono signal as well, we add this utility, put it in mono. We group that utility, we duplicate it, and then uh, basically this one. You could just turn this off if you wanted to. And this is just the regular signal, which is stereo. It's stereo with the reverb because the stereo is at 90%, just so you know. We can go ahead and add this auto pan. This is just for effect. This is automated in this section. It's in, it's in a 18, 91.3% auto pan, inverted, phases all the way down to make it an LFO. Add the EQ. Let's cut out some freaks. The, these big, large ones you see here. Cut out these resis. Cut out these resis. We don't need these. 681, 3.59. Ooh. Okay, that's good. So now this is basically fitting in the mix now. But what is this? This is the next bass we're going to go over. Okay, let's run it. This is going to be like a fast bass. I'm thinking, wow, this is going really fast. We need it to be short, blippy, fast attack. So that's what we're going to get down with. Let's open up Serum. We're going to turn off all this post-processing for this one so I can show you what it's like. Okay, so this is the sound we got right now. I'm going to leave all the effects on. But let's check them out real quick. Tube distortion. We have the LFO on the distortion going all the way up. We got a nice phaser. We got a nice compressor. Multiband gains down. We get down at, uh, I mean, gains up at 9.2. Threshold is down at negative 13. And then the reverb is on. LFO is on the mix going up 41. Size is at 24. And then the comb filter is at 71 hertz for the cutoff. Resonance is all the way down, and the LFO is on the resonance, going up 19 to give it that uh, cool push and pull feel. The comb filter in general is giving that really nice tone without, with, nice tone. So with this patch, we start with oscillator A. With oscillator A, that's just going to be basic shape, sine wave. F and from B is turned on, and that's going to be turned up 56%. Levels all the way down, and the LFO one is on the level, going up all the way at 100. This is going to be the first oscillator, but the second oscillator is turned all the way down, and this is Monster 6. We're going to also turn on Sync, no window. We're going to turn that up to 4 point, sorry, 4.14%. 4 LFO 1, we're going to make this fast blippy soon. And for this one, we're not going to use BPM mode like we usually do. We'll go ahead and turn it off. We're going to use Rate. And we're going to control the rate uh, freestyle. Put it on trigger mode. And then just turn on a nice filter. Flange minus. Cutoff is at 218 hertz. The LFO one is on the cutoff. It's going up 30. Resonance is down. LFO is on the resonance going up 35. This is adding more crazy tones. And then from here, we start post-processing. Well, we have a fast, a blippy sound. Let's go ahead and get the drip TT. Just compression. No expansion. 100%. Nice setting. And then we got another Serum FX to add a formant filter. The cutoff is at 45 hertz. Resonance is at 89%. Drive is at 83%. 
and this format is at 68%. The compressor is on as well, making it louder multiband. The gain is at 8.5 decibels. Threshold is at negative 10. The format filter, by the way, is just adding even more tones, more vocally tones uh, with the format specifically. Awesome. Before, after. Big difference. We go ahead and then add that same distortion rack, but this time we have two amps, both on dual, one on blues, one on bass. Doing these nice cuts, same as last, OTT, saturator, OTT, another EQ to clean it up. So we're using this distortion loud rack to basically get louder. But then we are like, okay, let's go ahead and make it cooler. So then we start automating the fine knob and shifter so that we can get some nice frequency changes during the sound. So check this out. We're going to go from 125 hertz all the way down to negative 247. Oh, nice. Now, did you hear it slow down at the end? Well, what you do for that is you hit configure, go to the rate, click on the rate in Serum, unclick configure, and then go ahead and automate this LFO one rate. And remember, it's not linked to the beat grid, it's freestyle, so it's really cool. It can even go faster if you want, like this. Slow. And then, yeah, you just find your nice sweet spot. And this is very, very fun. Okay, let's move forward. Going back to the first shifter. So let's check that one out. It's going down. But then we add another shifter and turn this one on pitch mode instead of frequency mode. Automate the fine as well. And then this is adding even more crazy movement. So we're combining all these different movement and pitch bends and all kinds of craziness to just add psychedelic effect, which is really what we're looking for here. And then basically we have that going again in the arrangement. We then add an EQ8 so we can carve out a lot of these frequencies, huge low cut, and then a huge cut at 599 hertz. Another EQ8, cutting out more frequencies. At this point, we're just fitting it into the mix with these EQs, with the other sounds, of course. Without. We're really putting it in the back with that. And then this sussy is front and center. The sussy is uh, copied. Use that for the sub. This is just the Akuma sub. You can watch my sub Akuma video uh, to learn how to make this sub. Fat sub, and then we just go ahead and low pass it only. Next is this web. If you guys like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get wubby. Okay, so we have a nice reverb here. A drip TT and a saturator. Minimal post-processing. With it turned off, it sounds like this. Weak, but need it. Basically just sine waves. This time we're gonna add some voices to the first sine wave. We're gonna turn on FM from B. We're gonna turn it up 39%. Level is at 25%. We're gonna make this LFO, little shark fin. Put it on an envelope at one fourth rate. Put the LFO on the level and turn it all the way up to 71. LFO 1 will also go on the FM from B, and that's going to go up 15. The oscillator B is a sine wave as well, basic shapes, levels all the way down. We're going to add a filter, this is low 18, with the cutoff at 36 hertz, and this is going to go on the cutoff going up 20. Add in movement. Go to the effects, add distortion, tube, 94%, filter. MG low 24, adding more movement. Cutoff is at 117, and then we're going up 51. The hyper dimension's on, but we go ahead and only use the dimension with the mix at 35% and the size all the way down. 
and then the EQ is on there as well, giving a high shelf boost and a low shelf going down, as you see here, looking like some uh, snakeage. So in the original song, got a lot of reverb. It's the original. So then we want to go ahead and add reverb for that. But we don't want to wash it out in reverb. We want to have the original signal. So we're going to parallel process it. We're going to keep the original signal right here. And then we're going to add a hybrid reverb. So basically, you would group a hybrid reverb and then duplicate the chain, turn off the first one, leave the second one on. Now, the one that's turned off, that's going to be full volume. But the one that's new that you're introducing will have the reverb on it. This is going to be at 100% dry wet. And we're just going to mix the reverb in. Decay is at 3.7 seconds. And if you see here, it's at negative 20 decibels. If this was at zero, it would sound like this. But we're going to put it on negative 20. Let's give it a little bit of verb. And then we're going to bring that verb up in volume, as well as the sound, the whole sound, with drip TT. Output on five. Then use a saturator to get even louder at 10.9 decibels. And then we're feeling nice, fat, and spicy. The Zapier has some delay on fourth, 20% feedback and 12% a dry wet to give nice delay. Damn. Then just easy snares and kicks. And also just keep in mind it is delayed here. Wow. So you got pre-drop. It tastes like salt water. Downbeat. Wow. Then the three hits with the clap, snare, and then we don't actually hit it on this downbeat. We delay it with the pre-drop. Which is unique. Adds more flow and rhythm and groove. And that's really cool that he did that. Very unique. Nice feel. Wow. But that's basically it. It's simple. And if you guys, once again, want this full project, it will be in my Patreon. That will be awesome if you don't want to go ahead and make everything I just showed you right there. But if you like it, please. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to keep seeing my videos. And don't forget to keep making bangers. Have a good night. Peace. Five, hop on my